Okay, what is going on everyone, and welcome back to the channel. It is your host TKK here, and I'm doing another uh, Pokemon Showdown Live. So tournament replays are done for the week. I hope you guys enjoyed all of those, but didn't have that many tournament games actually as we saw, and uh, the rest of the week will be some Showdown Live, showdown live stuff, uh, etc. I was going to do some Little Cup um as you can see, I'm in the little cup room, but I just didn't feel up to it. I've been very, very tired today for some reason. Um, I didn't want to start the road to top 10, you know, as dramatic as that sounds. Um, when I was tired, I just wasn't feeling up to it. Uh, so I decided let's just do some PU. I uh, haven't done PU in a while. I told myself that I would, would start grinding PU once I'm done with, you know, in real life IRL stuff, I guess, um, in terms of career, etc. So I'm going to be some grinding some PU, try to make a push. Um, to improve here and you know, hopefully get some results this year. So we're using a team that I found on the forums uh, pretty standard uh, spike stack type of uh, Type of build here trying to use cling clang as the main offensive presence So shift gear gear grind wild charge sub cling clank with uh, cling clank with a quillfish for spike support stun fisk for rocks rotom uh, rotom with a uh, trick scarf um, bulk up scrafty and a whimsicott as uh, kind of a pivot and just overall fight resist, ground resist, etc. So, as usual, um, PU ladder is always, always, always very, very, uh, <laughs> excuse me, always very, very tired and dead, apparently, this late at night, which is not even that late, it's like 10.30, but I guess we'll have to pause until we get a game. So I'll catch you guys in a few. All right, and we have a game. Let me turn on the brightness here so we're not... Computers and decide to take off as uh, that does tend to be an issue. So uh, we have a game. Uh, interesting team. Quag on uh, double water, um, psychic Uxie. So it looks like a more of a bulkier team, but does have a Galvantula. Uh, always good to check the Elo if we can. Okay, well, it's not coming up. Uh, unfortunately, this means we can't win with Cling Cling unless that Quag is removed, uh, which is definitely possible, but it's a pretty hard stop. Um, we have to keep our Moonblast Pokemon around. Giga Drain is very important to keep killing Quag. Uh, trick scar tricking that thing a Scarf is also a potential option. I like Stunfisk as a lead into Uxi. That's also fine as we can Toxic this thing. Uh, if we get Toxic ourselves, it's unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world. Getting rid of this thing is one of the one of the things we need to uh, ensure that like uh, Scrafty can win. Although. I mean, it might have fairy coverage is what I'm worried about. So, uh, okay, we do see a trick right off the bat. Trick choice scarf as I'm going to get a uh, poison off. That is unfortunate. There doesn't appear to be a knocker on my opponent's team besides the Liopard. So, I will take this as an opportunity to clink clink up. As we are going to see the reflect. Okay, interesting. Definitely interesting. Uh, I'm just gonna gear grind. I want to see what my opponent's response to this is. Yeah, that doesn't work, unfortunately. <laughs> that, okay, I did not know that was the interaction. That is awesome. Uh, <laughs> that is excellent. Um, um, let me think about this a little bit. I'm just gonna go into this. I can get a static off, or that also works really really well as i can just go for toxic on this turn my opponent is going to scarf into yawn interestingly enough and at this point i am not too worried uh, about our our matchup anymore so i'm just gonna keep the whimsicott in the back just because the only thing that really stops me from winning this game is um quag and now that i know this thing is scarfed i can just infinitely switch um between pokemon so i'm just gonna you know go into go into this yeah sure um this thing's a little annoying for me, so I think I will just uh, stun fisk. <laughs> Mohan probably tries to get up webs. I am spadef. That does quite a bit of damage, so I'm not sure uh, what that is. I'm going to just toxic this thing. Uh, putting this thing on a timer is ideal. Um, maybe a yawn coming out here. I'm going to go clink clink again. Clink clink isn't very useful in this matchup, so... Uh, we can just infinitely switch, I think. I don't know if there's really a good option. Maybe go Whimsicott here as Blossom actually comes out. Interesting. So uh, Blossom is definitely indicative of like Quiver Dance or something. So again, I will... Uh... Oh, what do I do against you? Blossom. I'll go Quillfish. I'll go Quillfish as I can Intimidate. 
um, just in case it's physical there's the quiver dance but i can poison jab you which is more important so that is going to connect it's going to do quite a bit of damage we do get a poison which is very very fortunate at this point i think i'm pretty comfortable with just uh See, I want to keep the toxic. Toxic is really valuable, so I'm rather I'm, I'm just gonna use the clink clink as the pivot here. As again, it blocks the clear body. Clink clink. Oh, okay, that's right. It doesn't block strength sap though, unfortunately. So I'm gonna shift gear actually this turn. As yeah, Giga Drain does quite a bit of damage, but not enough to the point that I should be able to gear grind after this and yeah, knock it out pretty much or almost. Giga Drain does quite a bit. Gear grind again. Should kill and we should be able. Okay. Rocky Helmet, interesting, definitely interesting, wasn't expecting that. Um, I'm just going to play it smite, play it safe, go for Giga Drain here. Um, yeah, my opponent knows better than that, but they don't have much in the way of an option against me. I'm just going to go into Stun Fist yet again. Um, there's the knock that I was hoping for, and I can now comfortably get up rocks, which is awesome. So that is perfect so galvantula is going to come in i'm just going to see what this thing locks itself into i think it's specs based off of the day eh, it might not be um doesn't matter i'm just going to well no clink clink actually makes this thing a little bit annoying but we're fine i think overall i'm just gonna earth power here um does go for bug buzz if it is specs then we do resist and we can just start winning with shadow ball which i like not much in the way of a switch in to scarf shadow ball quag actually comes in uh, i don't think it takes this exceptionally well 44%, yep, and this bit of drop, and it's Rocky Helmet, so it doesn't get any leftovers, and uh, that should be the game, so, GG to my opponent, it was a fun one, uh, interesting one for sure, Clear Body was <laughs> definitely the uh, MVP of the show here, but I don't think I'm really scared of anything Galvangelo can do, and yeah, I do knock it out for 51%, this is a little scary, but uh, if it's like Specs, Water Pulse, but it's not, it does Hex me, almost knocks me out, and I'm just going to pivot into Scrafty at this point as not much. Okay, this is just the Strength Sap team, apparently. <laughs> All right, well, then I'm just going to pivot into Quillfish and get a Toxic off on you. Probably Hex here. Um, but yeah, Toxic means this thing is going to be dead. And I can just pivot forever. So I will do that. Hex comes out, doesn't do that much. I can knock this thing's uh, item off. Not sure what it is, or its leftovers off. And we are in prime position to win, so we'll keep switching. It doesn't really matter what I do at this point. Like, yes, they can strength up. This toxic is starting to rack up on them. As there's the hex, I'm gonna knock. They're gonna scald. I have body drain punch, and that's the game. So GG. We had fun. Um, okay, I guess this thing. Ooh, that's true. I guess this thing could be an issue. Okay, so let me think. Let me knock. Okay, there's that. Hmm. Okay, yeah. I guess this. <laughs> I guess this thing is a little scary. Um. I guess you strength zap here, right? If you're my opponent, so I should go Rotom. Um. As okay, they just go for the Moon Blast, and I have to go for Moon Blast myself. We do outspeed and Blossom goes down. So I guess that was a little scary. Oh, I should probably register this kind of didn't realize it was not registered. Uh, I'll do that real quick and uh, we'll pause it until the next game. So yeah, teamwork well. Interesting build for my opponent, but uh, we'll just uh, move on from here. Okay, okay. Uh, we're back with uh, game two. So uh, more of a traditional looking team for my opponent. Again, a little uh, a little anti clink clank with the uh, with the lantern, but and the uh, the uh, whatever you call it. Sandaconda, but there is still hope here, I think, altogether. If I can get a sub up, which I should be able to do on the Weezing, uh, we're actually looking quite good. Um, getting up rocks is going to be n nice to do. Should be able to do it against the majority of the team, so I'm going to probably just lead off with Stun Fist. Well, not really. Actually, Stun Fist doesn't have a good matchup. I'm going to... Hmm. Oh, I'll, I'll lead it off, yeah. Like, I expected maybe Weezing lead, so this actually works out really well. We don't see gas, so it's probably, uh, it's obviously levitate. So I can just stealth rock up here pretty comfortably. If I eat a wisp, I eat a wisp. It's not the end of the world. Uh, I'm looking long term to win with uh, bulk up Scrafty, actually. Okay, nice play. I can discharge here pretty comfortably. Don't think my opponent has much in the way of a switch in. Lantern. Okay, so we can find out if this thing is volt absorb. It is volt absorb. Good to know. Okay, okay, so my opponent's playing pretty smart here. Um, we're going to have to adapt accordingly. 
I'm going to go Whimsicott as the pivot here. Um, Scald does come out. That's fine. Does get the burn, which is a little unfortunate. But I'm going to take this as an opportunity to knock off the, uh, the wheezing that's going to come in here. Um, or, even, or even the Charizard, which is really, really good for me if that ends up getting knocked. Excellent. Can you turn out of here? Don't have much, actually, in terms of an answer to Charizard. Um, although, most of these are just, you know, uh, Hurricane Toxic. So, I think I'm pretty comfortable with just going into my Stunfisk. Um, this is probably the Defogger on the team, if I had to guess. But does have to be afraid, uh, afraid of Discharge. So, I'm going to just Stealth Rock up here. That's cool. And I will Toxic. Very comfortably. My opponent doesn't have much in the switch. We have a switch, and Lantern is the switch in of choice. And Charizard actually does reveal to be the defogger. So we are going to trade rocks here, or trade uh, toxics here, which is fine. Uh, if it's Flamethrower, Toxic, Defog, that means my Scrafty is a super hard stop to this thing. So I can go hard into Scrafty and actually, I think, just start. Uh, I want to knock the Whimsicott. That's also key. So expecting a Volt Switch here. Um, knocking the Whimsicott means I can wear it down with spikes if I get spikes up at some point. Um, because it's probably heavy duty boots. Okay, actually decides to go into the wheezing. Probably to taunt me if I had to guess, which makes sense. This is actually a very, <laughs> very tough team uh, when it comes to handling taunt wheezing. So um, I'm going to go into Rotom, I think. As there is the taunt, as I had anticipated. Um, I'm just going to Shadow Ball for Chip. I wonder what my opponent would do. I think I can double into Scrafty, actually. Um, actually, can I double into Scrafty? Yeah, I'm going to double into Scrafty and then double into... Okay, this actually works pretty well. Um, I want to double Clink Clink really badly here. I think my opponent should know to double back into Weezing because uh, bulk up Scrafty can just mess up Jellicent. So I'm going to try doubling into Clink Clink. If it doesn't work, that's going to be really unfortunate. Okay, it just reveals Taunt. Which is not good. Um, damn, this is like just the super taunt team, apparently. Uh, <laughs> okay, cool. I'm going to trick here. Perfect. Um, tricking is going to be key to like breaking past something. So this is like fine. Does get the poison, which I do not like at all. Um, if, my, if I was my opponent, I would anticipate the cling clang switch in and probably go Sandaconda. So I guess I'll take. My team is getting really, really low. Hmm. I guess I would take this as an opportunity to try to get up. Oh man, dude, I need to get I need to get hazards up. That's what I need to do really badly. But it's just hard to do against this team. So I guess I go Scrafty here. As the mid ground is yeah, Sandaconda comes in. Again, I can start bulking up and knocking off and all that stuff. So I guess I should go for it. I'm gonna knock. Okay, we are gonna see the coil right off the bat. A little concerning, but not too bad, as I can start bulking up. I guess we're just going to do this. So, I should win this 1v1 because I have... Um, okay, never mind. That does way too much damage, but um, I have Drain Punch. So, that also works in my favor. I'm going to uh, bulk up again, I think. Bulk up again. I have lefties, right? So, I win this 1v1. Um, my opponent is unfortunately stuck at wherever they are i can drain punch now very comfortably never mind <laughs> come on man uh, okay well i guess that is going to be the game because i don't think i can break past the sandaconda this is a tough team to break past I, I literally was trying my best but um the double like the triple taunt um core just made this impossible so i guess it's on me i messed up a little bit maybe a little out of touch when it comes to uh the meta but yeah i don't this matchup felt really really unfortunate um because i'm using setup mons against just taunt wheezing and taunt jellicent so unfortunately whimsicott proves how truly <laughs> weak it is and uh yeah we're gonna die and i'm just going to i guess i can go into you and shadow ball and hope this kills but i doubt it considering giga drain from whimsicott did 38 percent uh so shadow ball from rotom is gonna do probably 22 so if it wasn't for that crit, I think I would have been in a really good position at least 1v1 this Sandaconda. I actually did kill, surprisingly. So I guess there's still hope, but now it comes down to like gear grinding through the lantern, which is like almost even more impossible than the initial task I had. So I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I can go Stunfisk here pretty comfortably. 
Lantern comes in. I can go Quillfish on this. Opponent decides to go for the Skull. That's a good play. I might take this as an opportunity to Toxic the Lantern. Because I need to wear this thing down. Like, Okay, well, that's right. I forgot it gets Heal Bell. So, really not looking good. I will Toxic again um, as the Volt Switch comes out. It's going to do quite a bit of damage. But at least this Lantern is Toxic. Um, that is key. That's very, very key. Um, definitely a Scarf Taunt coming out here if I had to guess. So I will just liquidate. Um, yep, that's fine. I'm going to pivot into Clink Clank here. And see if we can make something happen. I think we have a potential to close this out with uh, Clink Clink. So I'll try here. Okay, this is this is the first part of it. Uh, you go wheezing. Excellent, excellent. And now I shift gear up. Can you taunt through sub? I guess you can. That's unfortunate. Um, I'm going to shift gear again. I have to bank on this not doing too much damage. Never mind. Man, I cannot catch a break today with the crits. And that is going to be... Dude, come on. <laughs> Seriously? I was doing everything I could to win this game. And I honestly thought we had a chance, but... <sighs> okay, well, sometimes that's just the way the game goes. I, I think I set that up to actually win. Um, almost. I, I mean, I, I had all the pieces there. I found the opportunity to set up with Clink Clank, but the game does what it needs to do, what it needs to do sometimes. And... Uh... I guess it's just how it goes. So, you know what? I, I can't be too mad about that. I think I played that well. And that's, you know, that's an example of you can't be results oriented when it comes to Pokemon or you will end up being very sad. I think I played that game well. I should have won that game if it wasn't for like crits, literally nonstop <laughs> and rolls. But hey, that's, uh, that's the game we sign up for. So I think, uh, well, yeah, as I mentioned, I think we're on an old uh, account. But so that's why just because my main account has decayed quite a bit from like 1530s where it was, but it's still like very, very high, like 1497 relatively high i guess i should say instead um which means it takes a long time to get games even longer than uh, the wait here so i will pause it and uh we will uh, see you guys in a little bit okay and we're back with the probably the third and final game here uh, again a little bit of a rough matchup when it comes to clink clink but we are going to try to make it work I uh, do need a break past. This is also this is an excellent matchup for Scrafty, however, uh, besides the uh, obviously the uh, Articuno Galara, which we have to be very careful about. Um, or Kling Kling kind of keeps that in check, so that's that's also good. Um, probably expecting Jolteon lead. I'm just gonna lead out with Stunfisk. Uh, seems to be a good option against my opponent, and yeah, I think Kling Kling can win this game. Uh, Scrafty also looks excellent. Um, Oh, man, that second game makes me upset. I was so close to putting the pieces together. It just was uh, unfortunate that we weren't able to close it out there. But hey, part of the game. Nothing we can do. Do, do see the Articuno lead right off the bat? Uh, we can figure out if this thing is specs or not. I think rocks are more valuable than discharge, so I will go for it. Yep. And we can also get a static paralysis there, um, which we don't, but you know, not the end of the world. Um, nothing on my opponent's team really scares me too much, uh, besides the Scrafty, but we have a Moonblast Mon for that, even though the Moonblast Mon is very, very weak. So yeah, Pharaoh comes in, that is completely fine, as... We don't have Defog on this team, interesting. That's fine, we just go Scrafty here. Let me pause real quick, and we're back. Um, very comfortable, easy knock here. Uh, getting rid of this thing's item is huge, can't really para paralyze me or anything. Leech Seed is a little bit on the annoying side, but I have a pretty free uh, double knock, I think, on this play. Yep. So, a little double knock as my opponent tries to bring in the uh, the Jellicent. As we probably don't outspeed this thing. Do I want to find out? Not particularly. Actually, I'm fine with doing it. Okay. Protects. Now it's definitely out of... Well, it's not quite out of range, so I will knock off again. Actually, these run 200 speed, don't they? Am I like stupid? Am I forgetting something? They run, they run a lot of speed. Yeah, that's not what I meant to do. Let's see. Okay, well, it's a specs Jellison, so obviously that's gonna be fast. I'm wondering what defensive Jellison runs. They run 164 speed, which is faster than Scrafty. Okay. Yeah. So I gotta get the hell out of here. Should have probably switched out the previous turn. 
I'll just go Quill and start putting up spikes, to be honest. So there's a Toxic. That works really well for me. I'll throw up my first spike. That's going to help me wear down the Pharaoh, help me wear out on the Scrafty, win the game, etc. Uh, my opponent can recover. That's fine. I'm going to Toxic actually this turn. Um, as they go Articuno Galar, excellent. We get a Toxic off of this thing. It does reveal boots, which is cool. Again, Stunfisk, I think, is just the best overall play. I resist uh, Hurricane. Do not resist Psychic type move, unfortunately, but uh, yeah, I'm expecting probably that. So that works out fine. And we can just keep playing this game where I basically win long term by putting up spikes and punishing Pharaoh, Jellicent, and Sandaconda switches. So I think we're in a good position altogether. Uh, I do want to see if I can get a Scrafty or if I can get a uh, whatever you call it win. A uh, Clink Clink win. That'd be ideal. As there's the DD, which I don't like. I think we do outspeed this after a DD, and since this thing is uh, not yeah not um, bulky, then Moonblast will always knock this out, even with 190 <laughs> base special attack. That is so weak. Like, look. This is why I don't like Whimsicott. It has base 80, 77 special attack, and people are expecting me to like use this in the tier. It is super fast, which is really nice, but it's just so slow for absolutely no reason. Uh, so again, Stunfisk is my play of choice. Hurricane, I resist. Uh, or Air Slash, as we see here. Uh, I think I can pretty comfortably... Well, what if I would do if I was my opponent? I'd probably go Pharaoh or Sanda. I would, I would U-turn this turn, so I'm just going to Earth Power here. As, okay, Sanda Conda comes out. That is good for me. Get a nice amount of chip on that. Surprising, actually. Didn't expect to do that much. As we saw, Whimsicott is a very, very pathetic answer when it comes to the Spadef Sandaconda, but it is my best answer right now. Um, I don't really have anything else that wants to switch into EQ, and we do pick up the win there. So that was fun. Um, yeah, overall, just a cl cl clean game. We're at 22 minutes, so I think we can get one more game, uh, and I think we can pause it uh, until we get one. So yeah, we'll catch you guys in a second. Okay, we're back, we're back, we're back, and yet again another Quagsire. And this is more of just like a full-on stall team, unfortunately, so we will have to do our best to break past it. But a um, couple things come to mind. Scrafty, again, looks excellent as usual. Um, Quag is going to be in, get in the way, so putting a Toxic on that is going to be key. But unfortunately, I don't have... Uh, or Trick, okay, Trick Scarf Rotom is also good. I'm going to be off with Sunfisk, just seems to be the best lead against a lot of these builds. Probably a Taunt coming out here if I had to guess, so I pivot Whimsicott on that. Um, there's the Taunt, okay, cool. Let's see. And I'm going to U-turn here. My opponent should be afraid of the Moonblast. It could be Spax, it could be Pixie Plate. Obviously, I'm not either one of those, but, uh, you, know, type of, you know, type advantage tells you uh, that this is not a good situation to find yourself in. Um, I'm going to go Quill just to prevent this thing from doing anything crazy and put up my first lair, um, which is key. Spikes are going to be the key to winning this game um, and then using knock to remove boots, uh, essentially. So that is the, that's the long-term plan that we have and uh, removing the Audino, which is going to be the heal beller. So I don't want to throw off too many, throw off too many toxics if I can help it. Um, Quill is also good just, just in case this thing starts setting up like Calm Minds or something. Um, we can poison jab it and put it to bed. So that is what we're rolling with uh, here. Spike goes up. My opponent's probably gonna yep, stealth rock. That's completely fine. I'm just gonna poison jab, I think, on this turn, expecting maybe the Hitmon top to come in. Yep, there's the top. That's quite good for me. I'm able to poison jab, hopefully get a poison. Nice, that's really huge. And uh, I can beat this thing 1v1. Um, it can't do much to me, um, and I can chip it down quite a bit with liquidation, uh, with all those things. Yeah, spin comes out, that's fine. Um, but as you can see, it's already in liquidation range, so I can just liquidation again, um, and it's going to die. So, Quagsire comes out. Get a nice little crit there. We'll take that, absolutely. Um, definitely have to be afraid of the uh, ground type move. Not going to risk my Quillfish early um, to get a Toxic off. Exactly. So I can just U-turn very comfortably here. Uh, maybe I should keep him honest. Should I keep him honest with the Giga Drain? No, you never, you absolutely never <laughs> stay in here. So I'll just, eh, okay, I'll just U-turn. As Agron comes in. Okay, okay, okay. Well, Agron is definitely a little scary. Um, so I'm not sure what exactly it's going to go for. I'm going to go into Scrafty because I can, four, I have four times 
threaten this thing. I'm just going to go for a knock as Sableye comes in. Excellent. That's what we like. Getting rid of Sableye's item is awesome. This thing is very, very weak. Um, probably safe to assume we're going to find a, uh, a Will-O-Wisp coming out here. So I'm just going to drain. Oh, no, no. Why did I drain much? <laughs> mistake, mistake, mistake. Um, I'm just going to try bulking up if I can. Okay, no taunt. Let's go for knock. That's a good play, but I can expect a taunt now, so I'm going to go for knock. Um, okay, this is also good. Getting rid of this thing's item is huge, um, as leftovers does get revealed. I think I can pretty comfortably drain punch. Let's see if we can get a little bit of chip. We don't. I mean, there's not much my opponent can really do to me. <sighs> this is going to be a long game, isn't it? It's going to be a very long game. I'm going to go into you. Skull does not burn, fortunately. Clefairy is going to come in. I need to go for U-turn that turn because... Or I need to go for Giga Drain that turn because I need <laughs> health, basically. Um, as I can go Quillfish now. Opponent is going to Seismic Toss, which is a good play. I'm just going to Poison Jab. I want to catch the Hitmontop potentially. Actually, no, 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 no. Hold on. Spike is always the play. I outspeed him on top. So uh, Spike is the play here. Um, my opponent probably has to go Quag or Audino or something. Um, and the Spike is going to be key. Spike is going to be very, very key to winning this game. Um, so I will let this happen. Quag comes out. That's fine. I'm really debating letting... No, 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 no. We just go cool. We go Whimsicott here. We play it safe. My opponent clicks EQ, right? Makes the right play. I Giga Drain here comfortably because I need the health. Um, Clefairy comes in. Actually is unaware as well. So that is actually good information to know. I uh, think I can U-turn here pretty comfortably. Go into my Quill and fire off a Toxic. If I can get a Toxic on the Quag, that's huge. Um, unfortunately, my Quillfish is getting worn down over the course of the game because I don't have removal. Which really sucks, and my opponent's removal is spin, which is like even worse. If it was defog, it'd be nice, but it's not. And yeah, we're just gonna play a long game here. So, opponent decides to actually seismic toss me. I think that's interesting. As I'm just gonna poison jab. I will toxic here, actually. Actually, I'm playing a little too. Playing a little too, uh, yeah. Let's not let's not mess around. Okay, dang. Okay, okay, okay. They got me with that play. Um, that was a good play for sure. I'm just gonna U-turn out of here though. You can't risk the quag ever. Yeah, the audino comes in, um, but you know you kind of have to pick one now. Like you heal bell, which is a good play, but you get a lot of damage off on your audino. Um, and basically what I'm doing is not letting the hit on top come in for free, uh, which is important. Yep, and there's the hit on top, which is going to get sacked. And that means my spike stays up. And as we can see, uh, this is not boots, this is not boots, this is not boots. Um, so this spike is here to stay. I can get up rocks now. I'm going to try to suicide another spike up at some point. Um, Quag actually decides to make an appearance here, which is interesting, considering I can go in a whimsy very comfortably. Um, and I think I can just Giga Drain away. I'm very cool with Giga Draining here. Getting a little bit of health back, even if it's minimal, is going to help me in the long run. And uh, also, there's always a chance of like my opponent trying to like stay in and do something crazy. I don't think they ever will, but it's definitely a possibility. As, yep, there's the Giga. Can you turn out pretty comfortable? My opponent's going to probably going, going to go for Heal Bell. So I can take this as an opportunity to either get up rocks, which I like. I do like the rocks play actually quite a bit, so I... Yeah, I actually like the rocks play, because I need a... I need a pit, pit, okay, okay. Stealth Rock up here for sure, then. They can't heal bell and pass the wish, so... That is fine, and now I get a free Toxic on something. Which is even better. They can't touch Stunfisk. They can Toxic me. I Toxic you. Um, okay, well then you can't... Literally cannot touch Stunfisk, so... That's fine, and if I have to if I have to stall out eight heal bells, then I will absolutely. 
I have no shame in doing that. So, um, okay. Let me think about this play. I'm going to pivot Rotom, try to get a trick off, which would be ideal. Um, this is going to be so annoying, but we can make it happen. We have rocks and spikes on our side. Um, Sableye comes in. Okay. This is a, I think a pretty easy Volt Switch. Yep. So that does quite a bit of damage. I'm going to lower my brightness yet again. Uh, okay. This is going to be a long game. Taunt Recover Knockoff. How fast is it? 218 speed. I see, I see, I see. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a long game, isn't it? I will Moonblast here. Uh, I guess, I think we're making progress. It's hard to say. I wish I could get up like another layer. Okay, my opponent decides to go for recover here. Uh, Moonblast is doing not enough. Uh, I'm just going to U-turn. Oh my goodness, this is so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> this is so annoying. Oh my god. Okay. Let me... Uh, this team gets shut down by Taunt. Just Taunt in general just shuts this team down. What do I do? What do I do? I guess I go into you. Try to bait a Taunt. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I go into you. Try to bait it like Discharge. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to Discharge and hope for Para. That's like in an idea ideal world I can get that to happen. Oh, this is going to be annoying, isn't it? So that's a knock there. Please get a para. Nope. How about this? Para? Okay, there we go. Um, that makes my life somewhat easier. Um, what's the last move? Is it Wisp? I feel like it's definitely Wisp. So what do I do in that situation? I'll go Quill here. Get a para, maybe? Nice, that's huge. And Toxic Spike or Liquidation? I'm going to Liquidation on the... Okay. Uh, you have to... Uh, you have to recover here. You can't risk... Uh, yeah, so I'm going to put up another Spike. Um, now I get Taunted for sure. So I pivot into... Shoot, I have no idea. Oh, that's interesting. I'm going to Blast here. Oh, the Sableye is so annoying. Oh my goodness. Um, can I win this game? Am I going to lose like all these games? This is so annoying. Um, yeah, I actually think I don't. I don't think I have an op. I don't think I can break past this team, unfortunately. So uh, we'll we'll do the best we can, obviously. I'm going to do the best I can. I'm going to go Scrafty. You know, we're, we're going to do, we're going to pull everything else, pull, pull everything out that we can. Uh, so I think I'll knock here. Get rid of lefties, that's good. Opponent decides to heal bell, that's fine. Imagine if I drain punched. What would you do? Oh my god, yeah. I, I don't think I can win this game, unfortunately. I I just don't think I can. So, you taunt here for sure, right? I can't even trick because of the taunt. Oh my god, this is so frustrating. Okay, so I go into... I sack the Whimsicott as my opponent taunts. Or recovers, Okay. I go into you. I trick, I guess. Okay. There's some hope there. But not really. Like, what do I do now? Oh, man. This is so annoying. Volt switch out. I'm going to get knocked here. I've already knocked my Scrafty, so I will just let it get knocked again. I guess I can bulk up here. As Quag comes in, and uh, are we just gonna have to PP stall? I guess we have to. So I guess that's part of the game, and I guess that's what we're gonna do. So uh, we will, uh, we will if we have to, I guess. So yeah, I mean we have Shed Skin, so I guess we can uh, can do this for a while. Get rid of those recovers if we if we can in an ideal world but yeah this is going to be a long one this is going to be a long and not fun one so i will uh 
continue to drain punch. I need to get rid of 13 recovers. <laughs> and then, what? 15 soft boiled. So, I guess that's the game we're going to play here. So, yeah, this is fine. Rest up. And, uh, yeah, we'll just keep doing this, I guess. I don't... It's Scald, Recover, Toxic. Yeah. I actually kind of wish I stay out of... Uh, turns here but yeah i guess we're just gonna have to play this game for a really long time unfortunately so well those crits aren't helping are they their crits crits are definitely not helping so i have to start going for rest again oh my god <laughs> this is the this is just insane this is literally insane double crit the stall player double crits me i can't get a crit or anything to save my life as uh I guess this is uh, what we're gonna do. So we'll uh, we'll do it. Um, we'll play it. Can we get a wake up? That would be ideal. We do. Excellent. I think you just bulk up on this turn and rest the following turn. And you know, slowly but surely, we're PP stalling. So it is a very fun strategy but it sometimes you have to do that you have to pp stall the staller so we will do it fortunately um the way that rest works we don't waste turn we don't waste pp doing this so each rest that we do um yeah i guess we have to do this He only has four earthquakes left, so bar any crazy critical hits, which we don't see. Excellent. I can drain punch here. Get a little bit of chip off. Eat an earthquake. Go for another drain punch. You have to be out soon, right? You only have two more? What was it? My goodness, this is annoying. One more, and that's the last one. Uh, so that's good. I can keep bulking up here. No more EQs, and I'm curious what you go into. Alright, so I guess we're st stalling out Scalds now. Okay, so I gotta keep these so I'm not gonna mess around with Drain Punch anymore. I need six of them at least. Um, okay, well, that's fine. Um, can bulk up again. Might as well get up to plus six while we're here. Scald. Rest. How many of those scalds do you have? You have 15 more. Please stay asleep. Okay, I'm getting bad luck with shed skin, which is really, really good. So we're wasting a lot of turns for my opponent. As uh... See, I feel like if they had Clef at this point, if Clef had Moonblast, they would have gone into it. Unfortunately, I have to like stall out the clef, which is going to be like nearly impossible. But I also have a theory that we have we, we can gear grind our way through it, right? Because at least that's super effective. Okay, that actually was really nice. Uh, Shedskin's working when we needed to <laughs> when we want it to work. Uh, yeah, we're not enough to take a sub, so we will just continue to do this. Toxic away, my friend. Toxic away. Feel free. Literally, feel free. No one's stopping you. Toxic away. Uh, how much am I taking next turn? 18 plus how much was Scald doing? 13. 18 plus 13 is uh, not 50. You know that much, or not 47. So I'll rest up here. We only have nine rests left, but so please don't wake up, Scrafty. We don't. We need bad luck. Um, nice, nice. So we like to see. Oh, excellent. I love the three turn sleeps or however long sleeps we've been getting. Excellent. Oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. This is excellent. Uh, yeah, I think at this point, if you had Clef, like if Clef had something, you would have gone for it. So you obviously don't. I'm going to go for a knock here, try to get a recover out of my opponent. Also try to catch a switch. Nice crit. We'll take that. Um, double toxic Shedskin, oh, Shedskin is doing is working so well right now. This is really boring. I'm sorry guys, but my opponent wants to play this game, so I guess we'll have to play it. Um, they have six toxic left. They have yeah. So the toxic after a while is not going to work. Um, a couple of scalds, etc. So 
I guess we have to do this um, in order to win. And I guess, you know me, I'm, a, I'm all about winning. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I think I still lose to, I think I still lose to whatever you call it, 25% next turn. 25 plus 18, not worth the risk of a crit. So we'll rest up here. Unfortunately, didn't get shed skinned. As I will bulk up on this turn. 10 toxics. Okay. So yeah, I, I don't know if I should rec record this. This is just really lame. Um, and uh, we'll just keep going, I guess. So... I, I guess I'll pause it at this point because it's not like anything worth watching. Okay, and we have successfully stalled the staller. And I, you know, I have no shame because I will, uh, I think if you have that, if that's your strategy, then you should be able to play the long game. And um, hey, we got it to work. So unfortunately, no cling cling sweep. We did the best we could, but unfortunately, the ladder was filled with quagsires. So if you guys are going to try this, uh, make sure you have a little bit better anti quagsire measures at your disposal. But regardless, I think it was a good live. Obviously, a little bit boring, but. I hope you guys enjoyed. Regardless, leave a like if you did. Of course, I'm pumping out one, two videos per day. Uh, so feel free to subscribe. Road to Top 10 and Little Cup coming soon. Obviously, after that, Road to Top 10 and NU and PU as well. So if you're interested in any of those type of ladder, laddering with a goal type of videos, you know, feel free to check those out or, you know, be on the lookout for them. And uh, if, yeah, leave a comment if you have any sort of questions, concerns, or feedback. But hope that, I, you know, I wish this was a little bit more exciting. Unfortunately, it wasn't. Um, and that is uh, the way it goes sometimes in the PU tier. So hope everyone has a fantastic day. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care and goodbye.